Hello everybody, Willem Petzer here. Today we'll be talking about Stefan Smit. For those of you who do not know who that is, that is the farmer that has been murdered two days ago on his wine estate in Stellenbosch, South Africa. Now this is a very high profile case and was reported on by many international media houses including the New York Times, the Daily Mail from the UK and Fox News, particularly Tucker Carlson. But what makes this video very important and why I believe it is important to share this video far and wide is the fact that there are some things that were not reported in any of these media outlets, particularly one of these land grabbers threatening on camera to a news organization how this farmer should be killed. I have in my possession this video and it will be played in this video a little bit later. But first, if you're interested in South Africa, on this channel we do analysis and stories about what's happening in South Africa and try to give the objective truth. So if you're interested in that, be sure to subscribe. Now Tucker Carlson, one of the most popular TV hosts in the United States of America, has done quite a few stories already on South Africa's farm murders. But as far as my knowledge goes, this was the first time after this event that Tucker Carlson actually said that these farm killings in South Africa are racial hate crimes. Last summer, we told you about the plight of farmers in South Africa. Hundreds of them have been killed in recent years, some after suffering horrific torture. Instead of protecting the farmers, the government of South Africa has worked to change its country's laws in order to seize their land without compensation. Skin color is a central motivation here. Nobody denies that. Let's be clear about what's happening. This is racist violence, as brutal and horrifying and indefensible as anything that happened under apartheid. The difference is at this time, the Western media are cheering it on. Tucker, however, did not have this particular video or was not aware of this particular video when he talked about these issues on TV. Take a look at this video from News24 when one of these particular land grabbers on Stefan Smith's farm said that it doesn't matter if the owner has to die in the process, they will take this land. <laughs> This is shocking that these things are normalized, that people can say stuff like they don't care if the farmer has to die in the process or the owner has to die in the process and nobody says anything about it, nobody does anything about it and then almost a year later the exact same farmer that was threatened to kill gets killed. Now Stefan Smith has been threatened quite a few times because of this whole land grab story on his farm. He testified of receiving a lot of death threats including one where the threatener threatened to burn him alive. Then two days ago when him and his wife and a visitor from Switzerland were eating in his farmhouse, four armed men walked into the farmhouse and shot him dead. Tucker Carlson actually calls out the media on their obvious bias when reporting farm murders in South Africa. He said it in much more harsh words than I would, but take a look at this short excerpt from his show. Bloomberg has published articles suggesting that race-based land seizures will somehow supercharge the South African economy, when of course the opposite is true. Zimbabwe tried that and became the poorest country in the world. But whatever, nobody in American journalism wants to hear about it. Last year, the New York Times called this show immoral for even suggesting that farm murders might be a problem. But there's one problem for the Times. Their own interview subjects are getting murdered. Just this past March, the Times profiled a South African farmer called Stefan Smith. Smith's land had been overrun by a mob that built a shanty town and refused to leave. Smith told the newspaper that he'd received death threats, including a threat to, quote, burn him alive. He said he'd been intimidated into selling his land to local government officials. The article featured quotes from political activists openly attacking Smith on the basis of his skin color. Despite that, the Times once again concluded that it's, quote, false to say that farm murders are a real problem. Well, yesterday, four men broke into Smith's home while he was having dinner with his family. They shot him dead and then they left. His was the second farm murder in the Western Cape province in the last month. According to The New York Times, they deserved it. The brutal farm murders in South Africa and the torture that goes with it does not receive as much media attention as one would have thought. 
it does not, quite frankly, receive enough media attention from the local or international media as it deserves. So we are very thankful that many of these international media houses have decided to report on this particular case. Now also just less than a year ago, round about just after Mr. Smith's farm was invaded, the President of South Africa, Cyril Ramaphosa, said the following. He said that there are no land grabs happening in South Africa and there are no white farmers being murdered in South Africa, even though in the week that he said that six farmers were murdered in South Africa and there were quite a few land grabs going on at the very same time. And whoever gave him that information was completely wrong. There are no killings of farmers or white farmers in South Africa. Uh, there's no land grab in South Africa. It is astounding that the president can lie so blatantly and think anyone will believe him, but he did that. Luckily, we have alternative means, social media, to get the message out there. So please be sure to share this far and wide. Also, if you are interested in receiving regular updates from this channel on WhatsApp, be sure to send your name and preferred language on WhatsApp to plus 27715677162. Have a good day, goodbye and God bless.